Kama play is an African-Brazilian religion. The basic belief is to cultivate connection to nature and spirit. It is essential to acknowledge and give thanks to ancestral roots. There are deities known as Orishas that correspond to nature, food, music, and dance. Although the Constitution of Brazil prohibits discrimination of race and religion, Kondo play continues to face persecution. This event, I'm so excited. Uh, we are going to be talking with uh, my Valnesia Pereira about her work and life in Brazil in Salvador da Bahia. She is the um, head of a tejero that's about 188 years old, which carries a lot of history, a lot of memory, and is also a very important part of um, the current struggle for Afro-Brazilian rights and the struggle against religious intolerance in Brazil. Pois é, mas de uma coisa a gente no Brasil ganha a gente que é povo de Candomblé, porque nosso jovem lá, porque a religião na verdade é um suporte na vida do ser humano. A religião é um suporte na vida de nossos jovens. E para uma coisa muito importante, a nossa religião serve para o resgate da identidade de nosso jovem. A religião growing up in a society that doesn't really teach you about your roots, um, if you're a person of color, you learn you learn the white man's history and you don't learn your own. Um, and as an Afro-Latina, gr growing up in the United States, I definitely didn't know very much about my own roots. Um, because it wasn't taught to me, as well as in my household, um, my parents are evangelical Christians and things like candomblé are not acceptable in my household. So even those aspects of my roots were also hidden from me. So um, now that I'm older and I'm able to go back and rediscover it all, it's very, very important to me to be able to, to kind of dig in and figure out, you know, who I am, where I come from and those around me as well. Basically, in, in this culture and in, in this tradition, it's very typical for people to just help that because that's what you do. And it doesn't necessarily have to be that people are in candomblé. It could be a young person that needs help with their school fees, you know, because it's very hard for um, black people in Brazil to get good quality education. So they'll band together, help the person with education if someone needs food, if someone needs shelter or, you know, a job, reference for a job or things like that. There's always been a tradition, and this is centuries old. Um, that people band together and they help one another. A terra, a terra, essa terra é que nos alimenta, né? Que simboliza também o molu orixá, né? Da cura e que nos alimenta também, que é a terra. E de onde a gente vem e para onde a gente vai, na verdade, né? She said, but it's important not just, you know, that whatever color you are, but that you have a consciousness that you are black. That you have some connection and understanding to your race, to your color, to your history. So it's not just about that, you gotta go a little, a little deeper. When you think about the kind of violences, the kind of structural violence that we have to deal with all the time, it doesn't allow a lot of space for us to express and continue to be ourselves. And I think we live in an ahistorical society that encourages people to forget where they come from and basically just lay down. You're born sacred because everybody has already Everybody is born with Odisha. Everybody has ancestors. So that we come to the world sacred. And we have to understand that the religions that we are part of, if they say that you have to cleanse yourself because you are born with original sin, know that it's not for you. That is the religion that enslaves you. But also I think that one of the things about these African-derived religions and spiritual systems, they are all concerned with balance. And they're concerned with balance in ways that have a lot of lessons for us in this, this moment in history, the way that we consume, the way that we use not only things and natural resources, but the way we use each other, the way we use people, the way uh, systems prey on people. And all those things are out of balance fundamentally, and they come from a different, I think, cosmological sensibility. And I think that moving towards a balance is something that has value for all of us.
And it's important to, to pray and to connect to the Orisha of peace because we don't need peace only for our young people in our communities, but the world needs peace with everything that's going on right now.